All right, all right. So today I'm gonna to show you guys why a lot of data recovery companies tell people to not open up their drives and why they straight out refuse to work on any, on any drive that's been opened up. This is a prime example right in front of me here. Uh, so this hard drive actually came in just in this condition that it's in. Um, there is really nothing to identify this drive by. Um, I mean, you would know what this drive is. If you've worked on hard drives, it's a, it's a Western Digital. But that's besides the point. So it came in this way without the label here. And uh, let's see what it looks like on the inside. So right off the bat, you can tell that this thing has just been, I'm not sure if I can get you guys to see the fingerprints. There you go. There are fingerprints all over there. Um, there are scratches around the platter. There's debris on the platter. Um, there's the heads here are all tangled up. Let's see if I can get a focus on that. Right there. So the heads are tangled up there. This was clearly powered on, by the way, as well. Um, if you, you know, take out the heads, you inspect them, you'll see that they have debris on them as well. And um, yeah, so this drive is pretty much done for. There's nothing that can be done here to save this drive, especially with the amount of damage that is sustained. This drive was opened up again outside the clean room. A lot of fingerprints on the platter itself. And um, it was powered on repeatedly with the heads in this state. They're all tangled up. So a lot of people think that data recovery companies are out to get you by telling you to not open your drive. It's, it's quite the opposite. They, they tell you that so that they don't have to deal with uh, a lot of the issues that arise when people who don't know what they're doing open up drives. Uh, that doesn't mean to, that doesn't really mean that you can't open your own drive up and take a look without causing any damage, but we're talking about 90% of the people that open up their drives don't really know what they're doing in that regard, and they end up causing more damage than really there was or there ever will be on, on a simple case, let's say, like that had a you know bad head stack assembly or something like that. So, that wraps it up, and um, yeah, as always, I hope you learned something. This video is brought to you by our sponsors at store.rosmangroup.com. Thank you for supporting our sponsors that help keep us in business. On store.rosmangroup.com, you can find chips, supplies, ultrasonics, flux, soldering stations, and more. With 4.9 stars on Shopper approved, same-day shipping from New York City, and free continental shipping over $30, you can't lose. We even offer free support unless you're a please bro, live chat, and are adding new products every day. If you buy today, we'll throw in a special offer that your order will actually go through properly. What are you waiting for? Go to store.rossmangroup.com to get yourself some authentic Amtec Flux. Don't delay. Buy today.